It looks like Red Bull has their hands full with their two drivers. After winning a race each to kick off the season, both Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez have expressed their intention to go for gold. Recently, Perez tweeted out a statement that implied something Max and even his father Yoss didn't want to hear. If you want to find out what it was, you came to the right place. So let's get on with the video. After issuing a serious challenge to his teammate Max Verstappen for the championship title following his triumph at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Sergio Perez tweeted and later deleted a tweet. The Mexican racer had expressed his desire to compete with Verstappen for the title, but he subsequently removed the post and replaced it with a different message. The updated tweet said, It was harder than I thought, but in the end I am happy to achieve my fifth victory in F1. We are going to keep pushing very hard. I want to be a champion. Shortly after his victory in Jeddah, Perez shared a statement online, but it was quickly taken down and reposted. Five hours later, a revised message was uploaded, which included a similar message, but with the omission of the phrase, I want to be a champion. There are concerns about escalating tensions within the Red Bull team, as evidenced by a potential confrontation between the two drivers in the cool-down room after the race. Perez appeared to be upset when he discovered that Verstappen had possibly disregarded a team directive to secure the fastest lap time. Just prior to the podium ceremony, Perez approached Verstappen and inquired why the latter had set a faster lap time when the team had instructed them to maintain a specific pace. Perez queried, weren't you told to keep the pace? Nevertheless, Verstappen justified his actions by responding, 1330, yes. In the end, I asked what the fastest lap was, and it was not much faster than we had already driven. To which Perez responded, that was the information I had, and that's why I didn't push at the end. On Saturday, Verstappen's chances took a significant hit when he encountered a drive shaft problem during qualifying. This caused the defending champion to drop to P15 on the starting grid, which posed a daunting challenge for him to overcome on race day. Verstappen managed to make an impressive recovery to finish in second place, but he was unable to catch up to Perez due to the race running out of laps. Although he benefited from a mid-race safety car that brought the field closer together, Verstappen remained dissatisfied with his performance and urged the Red Bull mechanics to do better. Additionally, the 25-year-old praised Perez's ability to remain a contender for the championship throughout the remainder of the season. He commented, But personally, I am not happy. I am not here to be second, especially when you are working very hard back at the factory to come here in a good state and making sure everything is spot on. When you are fighting for a championship and it looks like it is just between two cars, you have to make sure the two cars are reliable. We have to do better. Absolutely. A cleaner weekend would be nice. After witnessing his son miss out on the victory, Jos Verstappen made a subtle jab at Saudi Arabia race winner Sergio Perez. During the TV broadcast, a notable moment occurred when Perez celebrated with the Red Bull team, passing by a seemingly unhappy Jos Verstappen. However, although it was later clarified as an accidental camera cut, Verstappen Sr. has a history of expressing his disappointment when his son fails to secure the top step on the podium. Following the race, Verstappen spoke out in defense of his son, arguing against Perez being awarded the bonus point for the fastest lap and acknowledging that the Mexican driver does not typically find himself in a winning position. He said, I just knew he was going to do it. Nice is not it. That way he will at least remain leader in the championship. Of course, we all want to win, but that was not possible today. The margin was too small for that. I don't think he, Perez, gets the chance that often. He sees that too, and then goes for it. It went against us in qualifying. Bad luck, I won't go into that, we know what it is. But otherwise, Max just easily drives to that pole position, and then the race is a bit easier. Because we actually already predicted, it is quite difficult to come forward here. This is a track with long turns, it's hard to make a difference there. We need more difficult circuits and more corners. In addition to discussing Perez's mentality, Jos Verstappen issued a cautionary message to the other competitors that the RB19's performance, which has resulted in two consecutive 1-2s, is poised to improve even further. 
It looks like we will be dominant, the 51-year-old said. We have a very good car. If you saw how easily they drove away now, too, a second faster. Whether that can be overtaken by the rest this year, I don't know. But it's not like we're standing still either, huh? We are also coming up with updates. Former F1 world champion Damon Hill appeared to take a subtle jab at Jos Verstappen following the conclusion of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Although Max's second-place finish was viewed as a commendable accomplishment by many, given his P15 starting position due to a driveshaft failure during qualifying, the two-time world champion maintained his unwavering competitive spirit by making it clear that he does not compete to finish in second place. Verstappen's father has long been known as a passionate and unyielding individual who did not tolerate any nonsense during his own career in Formula One. During a recent episode of the F1 Nation podcast, Pedro de la Rosa, who served as an ambassador for Aston Martin, was questioned about his collaboration with the 51-year-old while they were both at Eros in 2000. Yas, the boss. He was a very good teammate, actually. We got on very well and never had any problems. He was always very straightforward, and that's always what you need from a teammate. At that juncture... Hill interrupted and seemed to question whether Verstappen was genuinely a pleasant person to work with, stating, I'm not sure whether Pedro is being totally sincere here. To which De La Rosa replied, He was a good teammate, honestly. We were competitive. It's good to have a teammate that pushes you a bit. I hate to have an easy teammate. The incident on the final lap between the Red Bull teammates in Jeddah also garnered significant attention, as Max Verstappen snatched the additional point for recording the fastest lap time at the last moment, leaving Sergio Perez taken aback. The controversy raised new concerns regarding bias within the Red Bull team, and Hill has now shared his perspective on whether team principal Christian Horner and advisor Helmut Marko will provide Perez with an equitable opportunity to contend for the championship in 2023. He said, I'm sure they will, but I think they would prefer Max to win, and I think Max will ultimately prevail. I just don't think Checo has the ultimate speed and ruthlessness that Max does, and the commitment to being quick. Christian Horner, the team principal of Red Bull, has been cautioned that managing Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez this season will be challenging. The duo has had one victory each in the first two races, making it difficult to distinguish between them. Although Verstappen won the world title last season, Perez has expressed optimism about this year's car, indicating that he could give his teammate a run for his money. In the Sky Sports F1 podcast, journalist Natalie Pinkham stated, He, Verstappen, said it through gritted teeth that he was delighted to have secured P2, that what he was aiming for, but the dominance with which he did that had he not been starting P15 and perhaps slightly unnerved by those driveshaft issues, he could have won the race. But... I just do predict that Christian is going to have his work cut out to manage those two this year. With what we've seen so far, Pinkham may have a point. But I want to know what you think. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.